So for those who are thinking of voting yes on 22, I want you to do the math, right? And once you do the math, you will quickly see that um, under yes on 22, you're going to be earning less by far, right? So for example, they sent you an email where they said 500 miles driven, example, Los Angeles, um, on route to pickups, the 500 miles for a total of on route and on trip of 20 hours, which they worked out as an average, that's pretty accurate, um, with the minimum wage of $13. Now we're going to compare Uber's Prop 22, that's yes on 22, to the current law, and you'll quickly see that you will earn way more under the current law. And because of AB5 being in place right now, they have to up the game. Right, so this doesn't even take into consideration all the extra money you are earning on your multiply if you go 2.5x, 3.5x, 5x, right? And California drivers know what I'm talking about. So under Uber and Lyft's Prop 22, come all the way down to 30 cents per mile, right? For pickups and on-trip miles only. So they factor in 30 cents times 500 miles. This comes from them. We're using their calculation. $150 minimum hourly wage in Los Angeles, $13 per hour. Uber promises 120% of minimum for picking up and trip time only. So that's 1.2 times $13 times 20 hours. That's 312. You add the 150 to the 312 and you get this figure here, 462. Right? Now, under the current law, let's go over here. Under the current, the way it is right now, um, and you can even go higher if you start using that multiplier effectively. 58 cents per mile, all app on miles, all app miles driven. 58 cents times the 500 miles, $290. 58 cents times 125 miles, 78, 13 total, 368. $13 per hour for all app on time. Drivers average 60% occupancy, so 20 hours driven for pickup. And trip time is 32 hours total time. Very accurate. And that would be 13 times 32 hours uh, equals $416 plus the 368. You come out 784. That's $322 more than all of those drivers that want to vote yes on 22. So go vote yes on 22. You're going to shoot yourself in the foot. Uh, plus... Here the extras, under current law, we get unemployment even when there isn't a pandemic. Workers comp, paid sick days and family leave, pay less taxes. That's 7.5% self-employment tax is social security they're required to pay under current law. And we have the right to form our own union and negotiate a legally enforceable contract with the company so they can't change the rules or pay on the whim. Right? We've got to lock them in because what we do know about Uber and Lyft is that they constantly change their rates. They constantly change their algorithms. Sometimes you have like a little great moment and then it's two or three months of pathetic pay. So you want consistency. You want to know what you're going to get. right? And you still have the flexibility to drive when you want, with whom you want. You can go be on Uber and Lyft platform, drive the hours that you want, and you're coming out more. So... I ask you to really do the math, right? Another big one, those people voting yes on 22, and I see this over and over again in Facebook chat groups, I see this in emails, I see this in text messages. The people that are voting yes on 22 truly believe that they're independent contractors. You are not an independent contractor under the true independent contractor law. True independent contractors can set their own rates, can decide which trips they want to you know, skip, leave out, which ones they want to take. They don't have to fear retaliation, right? And under the current AB5, which has put the pressure on Uber and Lyft, they are showing more compliant steps on true independent uh, contractorship. And that is allowing you to decline trips, allowing you to set the rates. That is definitely a step in the right direction, but that only came about because of AB5. Right, so the, the real big numbers that you're earning right now, after November, they are gone. So I urge you to think very, very carefully on this whole 
uh, Proposition 22, right? I say mount the pressure and negotiate a far better deal. You want to be more on this side versus on this side. This is pathetic, and people are settling for the same old algorithms. It's going to go, it's written by them, right? They pump the money in, they put $110 million, they're putting a further $70 million, they're upping it to $180 million now, written by them. So if you still want to be a slave to the rhythm, to their rhythm, slave to their algorithms, right, and get this type of pay, $462 after driving 500 miles, I don't work for that. Maybe you do, I don't, right? So here you still have all the flexibility and you're earning more. And again, the more in negotiating, the more pressure you mount on this side, right, the better you can negotiate the new deal, the hybrid law, right? We can be in the front seat here versus allowing them to dictate the pace. Think about it.